Hello. I'm with Caitlin. Hello. And I thought I would do a fun vlog today because we have a fun day planned. Firstly, I know I'm Eliza Pornberry right now. And it's stunning. Thank you. Smashing. <laughs> Ooh, that was smashing. So today we are going book shopping. So we're going into the city, we're going to go to Gucci Gardens, which is a fun little thing happening at the Powerhouse Museum at the moment. And then we're going to go to Books Kinney Kinney out, which is going to be really stunning because it's Caitlin's first time. It's huge, it's beautiful, I know we're going to be in there for ages and it's going to be stunning. And then of course maybe we'll go to Dimmicks as well, because the Dimmicks here is also, like in the city, is really nice. Fun. We're going to get lunch obviously, and then we're going to come back and watch Frozen 1 and Frozen 2. So recently we've been talking about which one's better. Because mm. I think Frozen 2 is better. I've seen it twice in the cinema, but I haven't rewatched it since. And obviously Frozen 1 is a classic, but I do remember loving Frozen 2 more. You know, I need to rewatch to like make my final decision, mm. but I do feel confident in that decision. Obviously, I will report back with all my thoughts. I just think Frozen 2 has the gay girly vibes. Yeah. And that's what I love. <laughs> obviously, the first one is iconic, but I feel like it's obviously more of like the Anna storyline, which I love Anna, but no offense, I'm more of an Elsa stan. So I feel like Frozen 2 is when Elsa really gets to shine, you know what I mean? So we're going with Kaz, I don't know if I said that. So we're going to meet her there. And then it's also Kaz's first time watching Frozen 2. So that is going to be such a moment. But yeah, so let me quickly show you my outfit. Yeah, please. This is my outfit for today. I actually got these shoes yesterday. They're Winter Sun. Oh, yeah, fun back moment on the, yeah, yeah. and the gold hardware, yeah. Yeah, really fun. Aren't they fun? <laughs> <laughs> Silly boy. This top, I think it's from... <gasps> don't we need to look at the label? No label. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry. I, don't, I don't really know the outfit details, actually. I think this is from Glassman's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I have my bag, which is from Eco Susie. Love mm -hmm. this bag. And my new bunny keychain, which Caitlin gave to me. And I love it. <laughs> so, yeah. She needs a name, actually. Maybe Eliza. Always make us think of this day. And here's Caitlin looking stunning. Thank you. With the beautiful dress and oh, oh thank you so much. Thank you. The matching bag. Yeah, because there's a bag on once again. Stunning, different bunny. But we both have this bunny too. And they're friends. <laughs> I don't know the brand of this dress, but it's from Shine On, which is like a boutique in New Zealand. Love it. And yeah, some fun, you know, earrings and stuff. I don't know yeah. from either, but... Yep, stunning earrings. So anyway, we better get going. But I'm sure I'll also have some books to show you. Let's like, write. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to show you. But again, what you can get all that. It's going to be the whole shop, lads. <laughs> I hope you're this wrong. Got to carry it. Yeah. <laughs> wow, how fun. Chloe Bunny's just putting on her rings, but I just wanted to quickly say, she's the best person ever. She's such a good host. I hope you had a stunning birthday, Chloe Bunny. I love you heaps all my heart. You're coming. Okay. Hello. I'd like to take this moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Native. I love Native. I've been using Native for years now and I use them every day. I can't recommend them enough. So I'm excited to talk to you about them again. So I'm really picky with the products that I use for my body. When I found the Native deodorants, I was so happy because they work amazingly and they're also aluminium free and paraben free. They're also vegan and cruelty free. And yeah, they use simple and effective gradients that you're familiar with like coconut oil and shea butter. And they work super well. Native protects odor all day with 72 hour protection. I absolutely love the texture. It doesn't feel sticky at all and it feels dry while applying. And they have so many amazing scents to choose from. So these are my current top three. First Mostly eucalyptus and mint. I think this is the one I'm using the most at the moment because it's summer where I live, so I just feel like it's a really nice, fresh scent that I crave in the summer months. And it smells exactly how it's described. Eucalyptus and mint. <laughs> then another classic favorite of mine is coconut and vanilla. This is such a nice, warm, cozy scent, which I usually prefer for the colder months. And I love a coconut and vanilla mix, so it's just perfect. And then powder and cotton, which is a really nice, fresh scent. And it kind of smells like, you know, clean laundry. So I love that smell. And it obviously makes you feel very clean when you wear it. And this month, Native have actually launched their candy shop collection. So even though you may be sad that the sweetness of the holiday season has come to an end, the candy shop collection is the perfect way to keep that going. So this collection features candy shop inspired scents, gummy bears, sweet cinnamon hearts, sour berry belts, and strawberry and vanilla taffy. 
And Native also offer a plastic free version of their deodorants. So these have the same amazing formula with a more sustainable packaging. So it's earth friendly and 100% plastic free. And in addition to their deodorants, Native actually have some more to offer. So they have amazing body washes and lotions also. So three deodorants are usually $39, but if you use my link and code BUNNY2, you can get three for $26, which is 33% off. And with my code, you can also get 20% off any of their body washes and lotions. So thank you so much to Native for sponsoring this video. This is my first vacation. Who said that? This is my plush toy collection. So we're currently at the exhibit and this amazing person on the train. Well, the fake the train. train. <laughs> the fake train. Gave us these tickets. Love it. And also took amazing photos of us, getting all the angles. Love yeah, it. we love you. Love you. Love we you, train king. Wow. Straddle. <laughs> I actually love that. <laughs> Do you want to give some fun advice, Caitlin? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, exactly! Oh, Caitlin! Oh my god, my favorite! <laughs> my This is the new bunny paperback. Look how pretty! Okay, so we're in the bookstore and I have a few books. Kaz, it's a few books. Do you share? What do you, what are you getting? So. Sorry, you keep looking and I'm trying to like be sneaky, but I guess you're going to see it anyway. Oh. I want to get this for Kaz. <gasps> Wait, <laughs> what was it? It was one copy, but I get the bottom. Yeah. Uh, so this oh is my God. favorite graphic novel. Oh. And has has not read it yet, so I'm gonna get this as whatever the reasons. Oh, I <laughs> so, I've been trying to find that in stores for months, and I've been no luck. Yeah, I was so happy when I saw it. And then I'm gonna get this Murakami, the Strange Library. It's really cool, like illustrations throughout. And then five centimeters per second, which is a manga that I've been wanting to read. Well, it's based on the film. So I wouldn't watch the film as well, but yeah, it is apparently supposed to have like normal people vibes Ooh, and I know Hannah really loves it. So yeah, uh, Hannah from the Cockroach Creator, sorry, <laughs> but yeah, so definitely want to read that. What about you? Okay, so I have, I'll start with the bottom this time. We have A Share of Night, which <gasps> That's a fun cover. it's such a cool cover, so striking. I think this is translated as well, but a friend of mine is reading this at the moment and was talking to me about it and I was like, I must, That's I must a really cool cover. give it a go, it sounds so cool. What genre? That's a great question. <laughs> she was talking about a really specific scene that was like quite disturbing and like gross. <laughs> I was like, I must read it. Uh, <laughs> it's like fantasy vibes, I yes. guess. Wow, that's a thick boy. She big. So big. Uh, Parable of the Sour. Soa um, by Octavia E. Butler. I've been wanting to read some Octavia E. Butler for a long time and I've just heard really good things about it. I think about time that I get to that. Stunning. And then. 
one of the best books I've read. Mm -hmm. I'm excited uh, and terrified <laughs> for yeah. how it's going to make me feel. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. Oh, <gasps> she's got a big stack. Caitlin has been spotted. <laughs> I didn't even know Caitlin was in Australia. I am. <laughs> With a stunning stack. <laughs> Have you read? <laughs> so this is the butterfly collector. This is the woman in the green dress. This is text classics. This is the competition. This is song of the sun god. This is chai time and cinnamon. Oh, that's a cute little title. Chai, hello. Chai time and cinnamon that garden. Gorgeous. An engrossing, urgent, warm, wise, and utterly, utterly beautiful novel. Whoa. My senses detect this is where the infamous Ghost of Chloe Arashrita book scavenger hunt was filmed. <laughs> right over there. It oh, was. <laughs> Here's a clip from it. Why am I sucking right now? <laughs> <laughs> Ow, that didn't that kind of knock to my piercing. Sorry. Sorry. So we're just having a little oh. in the background. <laughs> <laughs> we're currently just having a little like break. Because it's actually kind of exhausting. We've been shopping for hours. <laughs> My legs hurt. <laughs> but Kaz is thinking of these two books. They're not very long, they won't take me long to read. Um but I think we'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> Love the cover. Stunning. Yeah. Stunning. This is Caitlin's stack. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And this is my stack. I'll talk about them all later, but we'll talk about later. We'll talk about later. But also, I just want to quickly say, never let the fear of striking out keep you from thinking you'll forget. Now you say something. Give some wise words. Oh no. <laughs> I can't think of things. You know, I've already said it, Shay, but what's not enough? Fear is the mind killer. Exclamation point. I will face my fear. I will feel a rush with me like, oh, that whole quote. I need to know the whole quote. What is, I'm slacking, fake fear. Is this the real life? <laughs> or is it just fantasy? You never know. You never know. <laughs> Expect the answer. in a landslide. No escape from me. Is yeah. this the real life? Oh, is this yeah. the, the real the life? One real life. Yeah. Well, do you have multiple? <laughs> <laughs> Had it well, surely there is alternate dimension. Oh. Is this the real life? There's surely more than one the real life. Yeah. All caps. <laughs> yeah, or is this fantasy? That's the question. I had, that was like just fantasy. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. Know just why are you belittling fantasy, fantasy right now? Cancels. Mm -hmm. cancels. <laughs> Never. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god, on the escalator before we laughed oh. because I was at the front of the escalator as you knew mm -hmm. and then I heard this voice be like, so basically when we get downstairs and I thought it was one of you guys <laughs> and I turned around and it was and he was like <gasps> Oh, the one I heard him Yeah, yeah. The one that behind me, yeah. <laughs> Basically, what we're gonna do is oh, dance. I didn't even hear that. I was because I think he was asking if there's another downstairs after oh. coming downstairs. Oh, <laughs> what were you? I was laughing at this. I'll be... But do you know what she's talking about? What did she just say? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Maybe you were 
too far to hear it from me. Put the tears in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was speaking a different language, but surely not. It just wasn't even a different language. <laughs> but you do it better. It was just so bro that it sounded like it was another language. Because they, they walked past us. And one of them was just like, oh, was this the guy at the, um, the light rail station? No, no. He was no, like, it's just, yeah. Oh, okay. He was just like, yeah, I'm right. <laughs> I was like, like, I was thinking that, and then Caitlin just kissed me. Two cheers. Yeah, who has tissues right here? I have tissues. Oh, do you? Good times like these. <laughs> you never know. You never know. <laughs> when someone's going to say something so. Actually, that's a good rule if you're hanging out with Chloe. <laughs> She's really mean. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I love how you weren't offended. You were just like, no. <laughs> oh These Pam B tissues are so good. I just thought, and they went, I think I, can I get them free? I don't know. Are they worth changing? What, they look kind of like a napkin, I guess. <laughs> okay, we are back. <laughs> we are back home. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, we are back home. I am exhausted. Yeah, lads. I had a quick five minute nap before Kaz came. <laughs> but I need to show you the books that I got. I definitely got more than I expected, but I'm very <laughs> excited about my little haul. So I got Mother Thing, which I saw on TikTok recently, and <laughs> <laughs> he's thirsty. So this is supposed to have like bunny vibes. It's supposed to just be like a really bizarre story. I only read the first line and it definitely has those vibes. <laughs> The night Ralph's mother flayed her forearms, a woman in a red dress handed him a business card. Wow. <laughs> so I'm very excited about this. Then I got Someone Who Will Love You In All Your Damaged Glory. I really like the cover and this is by the creator of Bojack Horseman. I love Bojack Horseman. So I was like, oh. And then Caitlin said that this also has good reviews. Ooh. I love Bojack Horseman because obviously it has like the mix of the humour with the wisdom, you know. So I'm hoping that this will have the same kind of vibes. The Valkyries by Paulo Coelho, who is the author of The Alchemist, which I haven't read, but Caitlin loves that. Slats! <laughs> Stunning pink cover. Let me just read you the opening lines. Something that is of great importance to me. Jane thought for a few moments before responding. Magic. No, something else. Paulo insisted. Exactly Paulo. I thought that when I think you... it's about him, I think, and his wife. It's, doesn't it say that on the back? Oh, so it's not fiction. Oh, well, sorry, obviously it's fiction, but I... Like, yeah. fictionalised. I did think that, and I was like, wait, is there a character? What's his name? Oh! Caitlin, oh. <laughs> <Hey, laughs> hey, other Caitlin. <laughs> no, something else Polly said. Women, Jay said. Magic and women. Oh, that's cute if it's about him and his wife. Magic and women! Then I got the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. Has has read this and said it's really cute. Yeah, so this is a really cute, is it like picture book, I guess? Yeah, pretty much. I think it's kind of suitable for any age and it just has like really sweet words of advice, pieces of wisdom about life, love, relationships. Yeah, so very excited about wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. Are you going to attempt to have the stick on my Oh, you're right. Is it going to go? I feel like it's the type of book that you'll come out of it being like, I wish I had art prints for every single page. Oh, really? So you can just put it around your room because it's just cool. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know I was holding you. Okay, then um, I think I already showed you that I got Everyone's an Alien when you're in. Everyone's an Alien when you're an Alien 2 for Kaz. So I need to write a little message. But I'm so excited. I'm you better read this thing if they paint Oh, I was like, if I don't fall asleep tonight, I'm reading it. Exactly. It does, it will take you out. Okay, if we're not too exhausted, maybe we'll have a reading moment. Oh, yes. Yeah. And then 
Murakami The Strange Library. And I haven't read any Murakami yet, so I thought this could be a good place to start because mm. it's short and it has the fun illustrations. I think I already showed you this, five centimeters per second. Did you just think that was a movie or a show? Yes. It is a movie, yeah. Mm. Movie. Mm. And I think... the people who did Withering With You. Really? I think so. Or your name, but I think we're doing with you. At least those are the same. Those are the same questions. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure it's those people. I'm really excited. So I think the film actually came out first. These look really comfy. And yeah, I've been really craving a manga moment because mm -hmm. ever since my um, bookshelf video, when I like talked about waiting for spring, I was. <laughs> I was like, actually, yeah, because I obviously love manga. Well, maybe if you're new here, you don't know that because I haven't read manga. Hey, I was about to say. Are you here? Yeah. Are you here? <laughs> I used to read manga all the time and I've definitely been slacking like over the past few years. So I need to get back into it because I do love manga. Um, yeah, mate, it's the guy who did, so five centimeters a second, Garden of Words, which we're like a fear about. Very pretty. Your name, Weathering With You. Really? Yeah. Hi, so not And then I got. Oh, you got it! Yeah. Oh, yes. Got this beautiful art book. Yeah. I think I'm gonna put this at my computer. Yeah, it has the Game Girl vibes. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is just so stunning. Like, look at this. That's the Game Girl. And my Sunny Angel. So I'm gonna open this. Do we all wanna have it? To the gotch! I'm gonna show the people then. Oh my god, how cute. So Kaz got... Oh, this is the best thing. No, I know. We <laughs> need to order ours yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna order mine after this clip. <laughs> I think I've decided on the purple. The purple? The pink and the purple. Oh, the pink and the... Like it's pink and then... The lid, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you decided? I'm feeling quite drawn to the blue, actually. Ooh. Um, the blue and the pink, I think. Yeah, so Kaz got a Tamagotchi pics. Look how freaking cute I love Tamagotchi. I'm obsessed. She's everything. So I need one. <laughs> <laughs> and like they can go to each other's houses and stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You can like generate a QR code. So we don't even have to be near each other. And then you just use the camera to scan the QR code. And then they can go visit each other. And then they'll send little letters to each other. So even if Caitlin's in New Zealand? Yeah. She just send us the QR code. Yeah. And then you scan it. And then you'd be like, you want to invite or visit? That it. is... Sorry, Animal pretty. Crossing, you are nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Caitlin and I actually tried to go to the shops and get one, but they're like all sold out in stores at the moment, so we need to get it online. Anyway, so we all got a little Sunny Angel hippers. So this is for the top of your screen. This is like a blind box, so we all can have a moment. Mm. <laughs> She's playing badminton, that's her favourite <laughs> item to play with. It's so dramatic, I love it. <laughs> While they're opening that, I also have set up the vibes for Frozen 1 and Frozen 2. Woo! Wait, and what's the um Wow <laughs> yeah. That's a little preview to Frozen 2. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you probably like what's going on. I, I do recognise that because I think that got played a lot. Yes. And made the rounds. Uh, <laughs> 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 Nice. My vocals have been kind of sucking lately. Because you're so focused on pole dancing. Ah! Dancing singing. Your body's putting all the energy into the the body movements. Yeah, because I actually went on to X Factor when I was 13. Did I tell you guys? Really? No. Nah. But I love how you went. Yeah, <laughs> I love how you went. You would have led with that when you first met her. Everyone say which one they would love to get. Um, I mean the bunny ears. Mm -hmm. Or the mouse, the little pink. Or the four oh, the lop ear rabbit. Or the fawn. They're actually all effing here. Oh yeah. Or the lion. <gasps> the panda. The lion. <sighs> okay, I want the rabbit or the panda most. Are we doing this? Oh, uh, we're doing it. Okay. Watch me get something real random. Oh I got the lion! Yeah! Like a bird or a duck or something. Oh, oh, oh my what god! What a cutie! <laughs> oh, I think that's the mouse. Oh moon! I think that's my favorite one. So there's. 
Oh my god, the closing eye. Ah! <laughs> they're all so cute. Oh, the jackets are. They're all so cute. Look at those little oh. guys. Why is my one wide awake? I'm wide awake. I think maybe the the, the colourful ones. Your oh, own. yours is sleepy. Wow. Oh. That's yeah, the dreaming series. Oh, oh, that's the dream. Hey. Here, come on, come on. <gasps> the wings. Does oh. everyone have the wings? Yeah. Oh my god, cute. Oh my god, this stuff. That is a beautifully. Whoa, the colors. Oh yes. Look how beautiful. Every time I go book shopping, I don't even like mean for it to happen. I always have a stunning stack. Like the colors just all seem to match. Mm. Yeah. The pinks and the purples. Ooh. Na na hey yo na na. Piss off na, bar na, at the bottom. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> na, 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 na. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Leg heavy. <laughs> okay, what color should we do the back? I guess like a light blue. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Oh, the time with the laptop. Oh, impeccable. This could last forever. Mm. And yet change mocks us with her beauty. <laughs> Forbidden maturity is making me poetic. <laughs> Tell me, you're older and thus all-knowing. Do you ever worry about the notion that nothing is permanent? <laughs> okay, so it's the next day, but I needed to talk about my thoughts on Frozen 1, Frozen 2. Oh, I should have asked Kaz to give her thoughts, but basically Kaz loved it. Kaz watched Frozen 2 for the first time and she said that she thought it was like, you know, just Frozen but like elevated. So true. I actually forgot how amazing Frozen is, like the original. Like obviously I've known it's amazing but I kind of got to a point where I was like, is it overhyped? Because obviously it's like so popular but no, it is obviously iconic, obviously amazing, love it. But I don't think I can fully get into it without, you know, getting into spoiler territory, which maybe no one cares because it has been out for ages, but just doing the safe side. Frozen 2, I just love it for certain reasons. I really love the, you know, appreciation for nature 
and the earth and i just feel like it's a more like mature version of frozen obviously and i love olaf having his like existential crisis moments <laughs> so funny and i love how it you know deals with grief and it's just definitely a more gay vibe <laughs> and i love it for that i also just think it's like more visually stunning yeah anyway i love it i love it so that was stunning to watch them back to back and we had a stunning day like book shopping coming home watching movies one of my perfect days and of course sent it with stunning people caitlin who is in a different room caitlin hello i'm ending my vlog do you want to say any final thoughts oh from yesterday yeah frozen one frozen two. Oh. oh we'll peg me click <laughs> um absolutely frozen two absolutely for everything it just has a more girly energy yeah it's rolling with the lgbt like no like same sex kisses or anything but it's there in the text like it, <laughs> yeah. it really is and oh even Kristoff and that guy i don't remember his name apologies why were they soulmates immediately they were yeah and i love like the forest storyline but also we had like all these beautiful moments with water like it was just yeah. so and the water horse it was just so like the beautiful like spirituality of nature and life and like many like yeah thanks it was so good. Yeah. And amazing day. I bought so much stuff. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. I need to buy a new suitcase. <laughs> yeah. So it was beautiful. If you're looking for more content from me, I have a Patreon always linked below. And I always have my socials linked below. And yeah, just appreciate you all a lot. I'm assuming this will be posted in the new year. So happy new year. It is currently... The 30th for me if you're curious <laughs> but yeah hope you're all having a good day or night and i will see you in my next video